Well, Max and I are on our way to get some crane fly larva. We were over here walking earlier, over by the falls. We are over here walking earlier, and I spotted some crane, crane fly larva. We were walking over here earlier, and I spotted some crane fly larva in the runoff over here. It's like a little stream, but it's, it can dry up. But there's water in it now, and I noticed there's some big crane fly larva. And it's November 24, 2014. And that's early for them. Usually I don't get any until like December. And they're great for perch fishing. They're great for trout fishing, ice fishing. And they're, they're easy to get once you know how to do them. And this is what this video is about. We're gonna show you how we harvest green fly larva. Right. This is a walkway. People walk down here with their animals, so I'm gonna have to hook Max onto something. Because he... All right, here's a little stream. It's just a runoff. Lots of leaves in it. I noticed earlier with some green fly larva. So, we're gonna get some while the weather's good. We wanna get some before the weather turns bad. It's in the 60s right now, November 24th. It's in the 60s. Tomorrow's gonna be in the 30s. And the rest of the week after that. So, we're gonna get some while we can. So we're here earlier and I picked up some leaves. So we got a, a strainer we're going to use and a small little net to get them. Some kind of bug. It's soft. There's a worm in there. Well, we're gonna put some of these in here in this red coffee can. Because they, they have to have food, so keep them. You gotta keep them in a cool place. You gotta store them in a cool place. That's the number one thing. Keep them in the refrigerator. Or keep them outside somewhere, somewhere it's cool. It'll last quite a while. There's one right there. See, crawling in the leaves. All you do is basically get the leaves, and that's where they are. They're in the leaves. They're in the wet leaves. You take them apart, and then you get the crane fly larvae out of them. That's where, where they are. I'm getting a bunch of them here. Even these. Some are even crawling right through it, so. So I'm gonna put these guys in the can, in the bait. Some are getting away from me, but they're not now. Get some more.
nice one. And these are great bait. These are great for trout, great for perch, rice fishing, for trout fishing. You can get them even on a snowy day. I've, I've got some videos where I got them. And this, I'm just moving these stones around. I'm just moving these stones around. See, we got one right there. We got one right there. I just got them to go in. Quite a few of this being this early in the season. Now I'm just taking a bunch of leaves and, and like uh, you're panning for gold. I'll go to the bottom, I seen some in there. Oh yeah, look at there's two. There's two right there. There's two of them buggers. And this is gonna be some great bait, boy. You can't go to the bait shop and buy these. The only way you're gonna get these. Let's get them yourself. Or have a friend like me to go fishing with. Because I share my bait. Oh, look at here. Quite a few more. Big ones. See, just going through the leaves like that, it's good to have a variety of them. Small ones. There's even a red one. We'll take that even. Well, we got quite a few out of that. Well, here's another little baby boy. All right, let's see what else we can get. There's one. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one I just caught. The size of that one looks like a good size worm. Yeah, these would be good for walleyes too. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, so this is real good bait. Just hard to find. Well, it's easy to find. And it's easy to get, just most people don't even know about it. So, well, we've probably been doing this about an hour, and I, I'd say we got at least a hundred of them. Maybe more. More or less between 80 and 100, I'd say. Which is plenty to fish for quite a while, so. So, the most productive way was getting them under the leaves. That's where I got the most of them. But every way works, you know. You can try it through the rocks, lift up the rocks, they're under the rocks. You know. Whatever works for you, but give it a try. You won't be sorry. All you do find is a, a little stream like this, a runoff, or a small stream. There's some big crane flies that look like giant mosquitoes. They look like giant mosquitoes. Well, this is their larvae. And it's excellent trout bait and panfish bait and walleye bait. Just turned over some leaves. Just turned over this pile of leaves, see? Right there is one. Right on the top. What you want to do is go through them. You want to go through the leaves. And, and mainly in the wettest parts. And that's where they'll be. You may find a group of 10. You may find one like we just did. You may pick up the next piece and there could be a bunch of them in there. You just have to kind of go through it. If it was snowing, I'd throw it on the bank and they're easy to spot in the, in the snow. Well, give it a try. It works for me. Me and the Max boy. I'm going to clean my hands and head for home with this video. Max, you been having fun in the creek? What have you been after? You find anything? You've been digging too, haven't you? Yeah, he's been helping me. Yeah, Max has been helping his daddy. He likes to find stuff in the creeks, don't you? Yeah. Okay, buddy, we're going to go in a couple minutes. Well, that's the first video we've made in a while, me and Max. I've been sick. I've had the shingles for almost six weeks. So 
That has not been fun. I'm starting to feel better, so I'm going to get ready to try some fishing. If we get some rain, the creeks rise. So maybe we can catch some trout. We got some good bait now. We just got all these green fly larvae, so. Let's head for home and call it a day, Max. Thanks for watching our, our videos. May the good Lord take them like them to you. And we'll see you next time. Max and I are heading home now, boys.